Now, <laughs> Grindhall start. I was where you are, like, not so long ago. Better return, let's go! Hello! Let's go! Oh, 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 let's go! We put eight people in a house to make poker professionals out of them. Where's the energy? <laughs> Where, how can people be late? I thought I selected well here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did. Of course I did. First lesson of Grindhouse 3. Don't come late. <laughs> Oh, oh, some sort Fantastic. of stretching is happening now. Maybe stretching the mind a little bit. I did make uh, some push to, to do this and the reason is because now things change. Yeah. So now <laughs> Grindhouse start. You had your warm up, you had you know your nice settle in, you had some fun and now now we start. I wanted to get somewhere where we can uh, where we can see where we are. Because I think uh, when we play poker what happens very much is we, I think, lose touch with that, right? It's a lot of time in front of a computer. It's a lot of time inside. Just kind of losing a bit of touch of what's around us. And I think it's very, very important to constantly like earth ourselves. I, I felt that both my quality of life and my play has been significantly better. The more mature I was, the more attached and surrounded I was to, to my surroundings. So I think that is something that I would highly recommend you to implement in your life and your routine to just really make sure to not just focus on one thing because oftentimes the surrounding things make that one thing more fundamentally strong. I want you all to close your eyes and take a deep breath in and out. And one more deep breath in. And out. And now with that deep breath in, you Soak in all that energy and with the breath out, let go all the stress. And now I want you to think of something that you're grateful for and connect to that thing and really feel that gratitude flowing through your body. Take all that energy with you, two and one, you open your eyes and you feel great. So maybe let's do a quick round. What's what's that intention? Um, be as professional today as I can. Don't like half-ass anything. And be as zoned in and focus while playing as I can. So I followed up on this idea of gratitude and I actually realized it's like so cool that we are here together and all team spirit and all the vibe. I want to have a good day today and enjoy that quite a bit. I'm going to try to be as present or as in the moment as I can be to soak up everything that I can just not like only like poker knowledge wise just energy wise because I really I'm grateful to be part of, of all of this. I think there's a certain point where it's really important to really channel like what's the, the whole package. There's a moment that can carry us away and I think that's nice but then there's also okay like how, how do I feel about the entire thing. One thing that I've learned within my career is I started um, being pretty successful at a very young age and difference in life quality is insane between my 19th, 23rd or 28th year. So I've been playing poker now for 10 years and I can tell you like the difference you know even though it might look similar like hey I'm grinding I'm playing high stakes but the, the package makes a difference. So just the assumption of like, oh, he wouldn't be interested in that. Oh, like, his t you know, he, he wouldn't want to spend his time with that. Or, oh, he might think that I'm X or like, uh, whatever. There's lots of assumptions that can be made. Or, or even sentences that are being said like, yeah, you know, um, like th there's a level of potential judgment that you might think that I have towards that situation. And I have none of that. I'm not thinking like, I, I don't remember the last time I thought like, oh my God, like this guy's doing that. Very, very little judgment on my end towards anything that you do or play. And any energy you spend towards assuming something is literally just making the, the moment 
more tense. That's another thing is like there's not like oh I'm you know on this level and you're on this level. That's not that's not where it is. We maybe play 70% of the spots similar and then in 20 I'm better than you and in 10 you're better than me. It's not it's not that I'm like better in 99% of the spots you play. Yes, there's lots of things you can learn from me, but there's also things I'm learning from you. So that's what I want to focus on today because I really want to get some one-on-one -on -one time with each one of you and I think well, we're going to we're going to identify a lot of things that you guys can and get better at. Let's go yeah. back. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Yeah, I think it was good that you actually mentioned, okay, like how you want to approach it, like how you want to study with us, because like before you came to the house, like it's okay, when is Fedor coming? We were like, from then, like probably things will change. And I mean, it's like when I showed you this gif yesterday, when like you, when it was like me watching Fedor grinding and this guy has like all the sweat uh, running down. <laughs> Please don't make a mistake. And you emphasize that you don't want to judge us. And I think, um, yeah, this is some kind of, uh, relief in a certain way that we can approach you like how we are and, and that you're gonna accept it and this is like yeah great to hear you know i think you look at where we are right now yeah right like i'm where i am and you are where you are but you, i was where you are like not so long ago you know i know exactly how it is i know it how it is <laughs> to sweat the tournaments i know how it is to you know have expectations to struggle to like to you know be hard on yourself i know how it is to be unsure, you know, about how you're gonna make it. Like, um, it, it's it's not it's very known to me. Of course, I feel that. You know, I've talked to probably thousands of poker players uh, at this point. So the more important thing for you to let go is this idea that there's something that you you know need to achieve or like something that you have to hide or that you can't show to someone else because those are the things that if that's your mindset you're not going to make it very far because then that might show you know with me but it will show with others too if you're in a in a call with someone you might want to sound smart you know and explain it and was like yeah i did that and this and that and mm. like yeah fucking range advantage mm. it's like but it you know it's not gonna bring you further mm. it's gonna bring you further though if you're like huh interesting like you know, I had this thought at the time, but maybe, you know, maybe that wasn't so on point. Like, what do you think about it? Is this, you know, like th that's a very different, like just really try to go inside and really focus on like, what's the truest reflection of who I am and mm. what I am there. And then you open up, like people will want to spend time with you. People will want to talk to you because that's the most refreshing thing ever, you know? So it's much more about how something feels and not the content of something. I think you have to make very clear in your mind, like you can't separate those two things. You know, you can't talk about him having equity and then talk about your hand because equity is only against range in this case. The, the stuff you said is generically correct, right? Mm -hmm. Like when you get deeper, you're going to play more passive with hands that are more vulnerable in general, right? Like mediocre hands, like second pairs, third pairs, because it's just simply makes a lot of sense that a hand that can't commit 40 big blinds doesn't want to put in chips to then have to put in 40 big blinds. It rather wants to play two streets than three streets. I think one of the biggest misunderstandings of equity is, let's say I have a pretty terrible hand and you have an even more terrible hand. My equity could be 70% and your equity could be 30%. What if I have a very strong hand and you have a strong hand? My equity could be 70%, your equity could be 30%. Mm. It's technically both exactly the same equity distribution, although you have two very different types of hands. So whenever you talk about equity, it's extremely important that you understand the underlying of what you talk about. Those hands are significantly different. Even though in raw equity, the hand that makes a top 30% hand might be slightly higher. This was warm up, right? No. No. <laughs> Interesting line there. Because Do we chain like river? You lead. <laughs> river? I didn't even succeed to the <laughs> turn. <laughs> that might be a thing. It is a thing. Why can't you turn be a diamond? Of course. Oh, that's not gonna get four points. Yes, so that's the result. 
Tausend, oder? Mammoth again, ah, crushing it. Alter, Run up, Charlie. <lacht> Dan Tobson. Yeah, Fourth place, not too good for me. First place, second place. And this is what Tower. the overall Tower. result is and Tower score at the moment. Tobson, Taurus, Fun Champion. That's the podium. I will bring the Prometheus to Dornburn. <laughs> Sigurd, you think you can still make it? I'm convinced I can still make it, even though it's tough opponents, but we try our best. Okay, lead. But I had 93 Guys, points there. Lead yeah, on so 7 3 doses, 100 points with Pocket 5 special. Yeah. So huh? sick. Oh. But are we able to see the EV of various moves? Yeah, kind moves? of, because you can see the points yeah. that you get. Yeah. And like checking is 100, and then you just can see. How big the difference is. Yeah, but we, like, we can't see like actual EV numbers. But it must be significant, I, I agree. I don't really want to like course. taste the yeah. alcohol free beer because it's gonna take. Yeah, yeah. So like we're <laughs> down for one cost and just for everybody to taste it. You need to stop. It's gonna get worse and worse. <laughs> no, like, that was not like I'm, I'm good for myself. <laughs> that was not what I was trying to say. Like, uh, of course. Yeah. I guess. So I'm was... just exaggerating for comedic effect. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you all right, fun. It's really fun. I mean the rules stay strict, but we can do we can do one evening where we drink something. One beer for everyone, like just to have a taste and like have to, like a toast on Stefan. Yeah, we can do that. Not a drinking evening, but just like yeah, we can call him and yeah. Okay, so like it's just on me to like get this one custom of beer of you. Yeah, it would be nice. Let's do it tomorrow yeah, let's evening. Do tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I have a very specific reason I want to do it. Tomorrow. Yeah, okay. You, Charlie? What about you? Sorry. Do you ever try German beer before? No, I have never. Yeah, so that's the time. Yeah. <laughs> Peace to that man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's just so sick that how much I've learned in these three days through peers, through coaches, through Fedor. I found so much, so many of my big leaks, which I probably would have spent six months, a year to find out on my own. And people could just tell me, hey, you do something wrong here and there. And that spots you need to spend more time on it. I think that's the most valuable part of these couple of days. Let's um, do a specific session. Let's work on single race pots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we go in teams of two and threes. Like we're going to play some hands and we do it switching. And then one person plays and they explain what they think. And the other person's challenging mm -hmm. the person. Uh, GTO wizard, the button was a big blind, 40 big steep. And then we play some hands. You share your thoughts and your partner or partners are challenging the thoughts and really dig into it. Like really, okay, like why do you think that way? And then you look up the solution and then you compare where there's things that you got well and not. And make it as specific as possible. How many weeks same, show down value hands? Four weeks, the same, the yeah. same yeah. amount of checking as we saw before in the yeah. uh, King 86 board. Yeah. Um, so I would say they probably check around like 30% of the time, meaning they are not necessar necessarily kept on turn. I know I'm never betting this one week, but I'm, I just, I, it's so hard to, 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 to like, even put it into words. It's so, so hard. It's crazy. I mean, I'm surprised it's so hard. It's, it's the concreteness. It's, mo it's mostly because people don't talk concrete. It's really like, I, if I talk abstract about hands, yeah. There will be so few things where, where you will find something. But if I say a concrete number and you go inside and check it, I will make mistakes. Oh man. So well done. Yeah, I love it. So far? This, this guy just keeps cooking the crazy stuff. The nuts. Alright guys, here we go. Look at that. What's the luck? That's the food for So Samo, what is going on here? Uh, we have a nice little lefty with Mario. 
um, Mario Mosbeck, and it's the $55 marathon on PokerStars. Like, not the biggest field, but a pretty cool tournament. It's a lot of fun because you get to play deeper stacks than usual. Uh, we're 17 left to in the 126 bounty on, on uh, GG. So. Let's see what we can do. Would you expect Mario in yeah, yeah, the tournament the guys, casually? No, he usually doesn't play these kind of tournaments like that low. But it's nice to see him. It's fun to, to battle against against a very good player. More. Nice. That's a pretty big one. Pretty interesting hand versus Mario Fedor if you want to watch. We're under river. He's time banking. When he time banks, he always has it. Oh, God. Okay. And what was the action? Um, he threw bits pre, we call. He see bits super small flop, we call turn check check. What are you bluffing like? There. Maybe. He's sitting there, his mind's like, like they the always have it, so he's, he's yes. gonna come up with the uh, pocket nines. Or, yeah. And this goes out to Mario, living legend, Mosberg. What do you think of, I mean, now my action is over, what do you think of raising non all in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that might be a thing, right? The 126? Yeah. Small Mick Lella is uh, 16, I think. This maybe a, <laughs> a great guy? Sure, yeah, yeah, great guy. <laughs> maybe not a great player, but a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's my friend though. Can you please stop <laughs> talking to my friend like that? Blind roll back up to 10 big blinds. <laughs> it is 2.8 plus bounties. It's like, did someone say mamas? <laughs> <laughs> Sixes. Why your type? Hey! No! no, 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 no. <laughs> Why Muko? Oh, yeah, it's his fault. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, Fucking hell. Beat the meat. My goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad. Yeah, I missed my pre-flop show calling. Ace jack suit today is queen off. Yeah, it's just funny. I look to him through the camera and he looks to me through the camera. <laughs> it's really so stupid to watch. I know that's just the guy who's ready. So probably one, one vocal. Never playing because I'm a fish. I just stake other people. <laughs> I go now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. What's your name? Hello. My bad. My bad. Dominic. Dominic. I'm Charlie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're a cool guy. Thank you. You too. <laughs> <laughs> Do be slip. That's Do be like slip. The worst slip. <laughs> <laughs> Do be slip. What, how, did you, how did you learn German? <laughs> <laughs> we always. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying, trying my best. Thank you. Nice. Nice. Good, good to meet you. Good to meet you. What's it? Why on time? Hopefully not. Why on time? <laughs> now we can't use the video anymore. Fuck. If you say that, it is like for sure. Beautiful. How do you say two pair? Yeah, three. 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 I could do this all day. Oh my Did lord! Oh. Make me fall the four. Open. Fucking hell! Ah. Yeah. Like, Hello! Let's go! Goodbye and bounty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay, we should be ahead. We're far ahead. Oh, yeah. Bring the alley. That's okay. Zero on the turn. Three. Dead on the turn, yeah. let's go! Yeah. Hello! Yeah. Do we need to hold? Oh, hold, hold, hold! Hold, hold, hold. 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 hold! Let's go, double! <laughs> double, 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 double. <laughs> double. For me! Let's go. Game Come on! on. It's gonna. Oh, that was awkward. To the place! <laughs> I'm alive! <laughs> West Virginia, <laughs> Mountain Mama, take me home, country road. Oh, yeah! 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 O
coach. Okay. Yes! Oh. Come on. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, I just yeah, we're, we're in for the win again. Like, you're, you're almost tied with him. Let's yeah, go. Yes. Okay, now this is really big. Hi! Oh my goodness! <laughs>